here's a question I like. I'm assuming from an older listener. Why is it that people forget about the old school players like Nano, Mays, etc., and think today's players are better? Uh, I don't. I don't know if we necessarily forget those guys are are legends. Um, they're Hall of Famers. I mean, they, talk about Mickey Mantle, you talk about Babe Ruth, you talk about William Mays, like, that's baseball, like, that's baseball history. They are baseball history. I think there's a couple factors of why this question is asked and why it's perceived that way. Why do we say, like, Mike Trout's the best player ever? I think the game is just better. The talent in the game is better than it's ever been. Uh, Mickey Mantle was hitting 81 mile an hour fastballs out. Um, 88 is probably more realistic. He's hitting 88 mile an hour fastballs out. Uh, Mike Trout's turn around 100. Uh, they're just better athletes. I also think that there's more media attention. There's more social media. You see these clips. Like, there's there's more PR. As bad as I think is the M- MLB is at marketing, like, way better than it was back then. Like, you're not watching all the games. Like, I can watch a Mike Trout. Every time Mike Trout homers, I see it on mm-hmm. Twitter, on, you know what I mean? So you see those things. Right away. Yeah. Back then, it wasn't like, yeah, back then, it wasn't that like that. You know, Mickey Mickey Mantle hits a home run, two home runs, three home runs in a game, and like unless you check the box scores the next morning, you don't know. Well, now every mm-hmm. baseball fan in the country, anytime Mike Trout goes, you know, jump ship, they're seeing it on their Twitter feed in two minutes later. So I think that also has a big a big part of it. And obviously, like evolution, they're bigger athletes are bigger, stronger, faster. So it just Yeah, I mean not to mention even the fact of bullpenning and seeing a different arm every at bat mm-hmm. rather than guys to throw every sometime. I mean, back, every game. we're talking real, <laughs> real far back every game, but even in, in the Ted Williams time, you're talking about a guy who's going to throw eight innings, whether it's 140 pitches and the fatigue factor and losing four to five miles per hour when you get right. to that range and things like that. And then not even mention pitch design and yeah. you know, understanding your spins and locations and, dominating with that stuff is these guys in 1960 didn't understand why their fastball was successful in this location i'm sure they threw it more often there i'm sure they weren't stupid enough to right. like oh like i have to you know i have to work the corners when my fastball's up good up and then like i'm sure they see it but overall i mean it'll be really interesting i know i'm fired up for the long gone summer documentary tomorrow yeah. to see see that and because those guys, I, I don't want to discredit those. I know it's not. No. So, but those are arguably – like, Barry Bonds is the best player in history in my mind. I mean, steroids or not. Steroids or not, the guy was a stud. Yeah. So, like, that's an older – I mean, older for us, but older player that we – I think me and you both give a lot of credit for. So, I don't think we discount right. older players. I think and Ted Williams like is their probably, history. Yeah, right, and like me and you are both history. baseball historians. We right. love the game of baseball f- from the start. It's just Babe Ruth couldn't hit ninety six right out, like right out of the right out of the ground when we pull him up and he was alive. Like he's not hitting ninety six. If okay. Babe Ruth was twenty one right now, maybe. Yeah, like if he developed with his skill set and had the right. the proper right. nutrition and strength right. conditioning and coaching, right. he, he, he would probably be a stud. Yes, but like but we'll we, never know. It's that. just. The talent today is at an amazing sure. level, and it's good baseball. It's the best baseball has ever been. And until we stop being stuck in the past, that's the number one reason why the game hasn't grown is because there's too many. And I'm not saying that for the person who asked the question. The number one – this is just a complaint about baseball in general. The number one issue with baseball today is that when you go to listen to a game, you hear John Smoltz bash the game of baseball today. You hear John Smoltz complaining about a swing and miss. Why, like these guys are chasing the high fastballs. The Nationals need to lay off the high fastballs. I remember hearing it during one of the games, and they really need to lay off the high fastballs. Well, why, why don't you explain to the listener why Brandon Woodruff's fastball is effective up in the zone? Or Josh Hader's fastball is effective where it is. Why don't you explain why people swing at pitches at their eyes? embrace the game for what it is right. and try to make it better stop being stuck in the past with what whatever you, you believe is the game because it's 
a phenomenal brand of baseball, but it's when you're a kid and you go to listen to a playoff game, a wild card game, and you hear, oh, these guys are chasing pitches up in the zone. It's really a bad look for their hitters. Well, it's a negative tone instead of being like, God, this is phenomenal pitching by Woodruff and Hader and effectively He's throwing right. their fastball up in the zone and pitching off of that. It really, it, these national hitters are really lost because it's that effective. Like, Could you imagine Trey Aikman, like, you know, I don't know. Talking about Mahomes being a gunslinger, like, oh, he's oh, not, yeah, he's oh, not hitting his slants. Like, you know, Chiefs, like. Why aren't the Chiefs, like, doing more two-step drops and handing the ball off? Yeah. And, and, like, you know, eye formation and running downhill. Because that's exactly. what we did with Emmett Smith. Like, yeah. I don't, you, you wouldn't hear it. Or, like, Reggie no. Miller talking about how LeBron's bad for the game. Yeah. Like, because, just, he, you know, he dunks too much. Or, like, Steph Curry shoots too many threes. Yeah, too many like, yeah, threes. I, a, trust me, and there's a ton of older people that I talk to who want to tell me that the NBA is worse off today than it, than it mm-hmm. used to be, which is – it's unbelievable. Like, it's a, yeah. it's a better product today. Yeah. But, like, the, you don't hear the announcers doing it, like, in baseball. Mm-hmm. Like, the announcers yeah. are, like, all over. Like, every town, you turn on the – you know, listen to Dennis Eckersley talk about the game. <sighs> Yeah. Um, and it's just like the the negative tone around data and analytics and these stuff like that is just even I have friends who are my age who just grew up watching games with their parents and they loved old school baseball and their things like that who were just so anti analytics and I'm like you know analytics isn't anything but like a number like it's not like like all oh, launch angle like oh we hate it like like you know Barry Bonds try to hit the ball in the air like you wouldn't hit 700 home runs if you didn't intentionally hit the ball in the air like you know Ted Williams did the same thing and just the negative tone around baseball today is why the game's not growing it has nothing to do with the product itself the product's great the talent's great Orlando Garcia is probably one of the most talented guys in baseball and he hits eight hole for like a wild card team like this dude you watch him play and you'll be like dude this guy's good like he's 10 times better than anybody was 10 years ago like the shortstop as that productive as him to do what he does it's you know like and and, right. and that's not to mention all the phenomenal baseball players that we have yeah, the talent the talent is in a great spot insane we all need to recognize it what's up guys thanks for checking out the backside ground ball podcast on youtube to listen to full episodes we are currently streaming on whatever app you listen to to get your podcast please help us out by subscribing to the show as well as here on youtube so you never miss any of our awesome content if you ever have a question or just want to talk baseball with trevor myself go ahead and follow both of us our twitter is in the description below we love talking baseball and we appreciate our fans